check in a few uh, opening bell movers here. Let's talk chicken, you guys. Why not? We love to talk chicken here. Tyson Foods was out with its earnings this morning. It beat estimates. Um, the company reporting EPS of $2.70. 163 was the average analyst estimate. I mean, we know what's going on here, right? Chicken prices are going higher. Um, the expense line for Tyson, though, of course, is also going higher. I was telling you guys an anecdote on my vacation last week that as we were driving through rural Maryland and Virginia, there's a Tyson plant. And they were offering starting salary twenty sixty five an hour. Big a big sign outside the plant, by the way. Yeah. Trying to get those workers. That's pretty good. And you know, just staying on the cost side of things, uh, they're Tyson noting inside of their chicken business, four hundred and ten million of higher feed ingredient costs compared to last year. Uh, and they're also highlighting production inefficiencies. Worth noting, despite all that strong demand in chicken, that business still operated at a loss in the quarter. Mm. Very interesting. You see uh, strong demand for beef, strong demand for pork, meat, bull market for meat. Protein. <laughs> pro-cyclical, protein. pro-cyclical protein market. I mean, all we talk about on this program is, is, your, is your fake meats over here, Sazi. Tyson, oh. Tyson letting us know is still a real thing. I'm a big proponent of the Beyond Meat meatballs. I'm sorry. And, and you know what? Actually, no. I don't apologize. I think they're quite good. I think you, I think you should apologize. You have to <laughs> apologize. Oh God, brutal. Brutal. Um, there's, brutal. Also, there's also a chicken deal this morning, by the way. Sanderson yeah. Farms, which is a big egg producer, also mm-hmm. chicken producer, number three chicken producer in the U.S., Cargill and Continental Grain are buying the company for about four and a half billion dollars in cash. They're combining it with Wayne Farms, which Continental owns, um, which is the eighth largest in the U.S. So obviously it'll be bigger combined company here. Sanderson getting uh, gobbled up today. Oh, no. Yeah. No, you didn't. Oh, doesn't, yes. That doesn't work. It does work. It it's, doesn't. No, it does. doesn't work. Because oh, that's a turkey. <laughs> they sell I'm chickens. Sure, I'm sure there are turkeys in there somewhere, also, you guys. And then another deal that I know Miles. Any kind of poultry. Miles Very is excited. Foul. This is foul behavior. <laughs> another deal that I know Miles is excited to talk about that has nothing to do with chicken that I can discern. You can certainly buy chicken at some of these locations. Yes, there so, you go. Yeah. Draft Kings yeah. is going to be buying Golden Nugget Online yeah. Gaming, all stock deal. One and a half billion dollars is the equity implied equity value yeah. here. Um, and as what did you call it this morning? SPAC on SPAC crime? SPAC on SPAC crime. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is it. This, this is sp- a SPAC, you know, DraftKings SPAC buying the Golden Nugget Online Gaming SPAC, which came, came to market last year. I, how hot does the, does the sports betting market continue? But we just talked to Gannett's CEO last week. He struck a deal to now get involved with the sports betting space. Bally's, we've talked to this num- num- numerous times. They are getting deeper into the sports betting craze. Of course, look, look at us here at Yahoo Sports. We're in the sports betting craze as well. It's, it's amazing. Just the longevity uh, of this trade. It's going on at least, what, two years? Two plus years? Yeah, I mean, it has a lot of the same elements as the cannabis trade, right? Where um, everyone was smoking weed and betting on sports in their free time. Now you can do it you know, legally and you can do it on your phone. And so every state's going to eventually legalize it. So there's this big you know, regulatory tailwind for the whole sector. But I, I mean, I don't know. Well, I know you're not watching sports. I don't know how much sports you're watching, Saz. But I, I am now finding the tie-ins mm-hmm. more and more intrusive mm. and and they're all around when you sign up. Go sign up for, you know, this app and then bet on this outcome. This was in the golf yesterday. Like, if you bet on something with it, it's like you, you can enter some $10,000 contests, right? But I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, who's watching this that wants to bet on golf that hasn't already downloaded and started betting on golf? So, the, the, uh, so I'm asking about the CAC of the marginal consumer for sports betting, and I know that everyone's going to tell me that there's a huge market out there. There's a huge TAM. But it, so the market, in my view, though, is, is like it's 16-year-old boys that are going to turn 18 and then legally be allowed to open, to well, open an app. Or it's older bettors who maybe haven't, haven't adopted yet. Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe. I should have asked my father if he's interested in, in opening a DraftKings account. Yes, the Mr. Udland indicator. Yeah. It's an important indicator. Only if, only, I mean, if he has his reading glasses, maybe. But otherwise, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> he, he actually cut the cord, though. So maybe he is, maybe, oh, maybe he's millennializing himself the older that he gets. I think I have cable and he cut the cord. What, you, you what do we to, make of this? You have to come back and do some market research. <laughs> you did some, you, uh, you, you spent your vacation market researching yes, chicken, chicken competition, and I, I unfortunately did no market research this weekend. The, well, you do any? Every day. 
Yeah, okay. Sazi lives. What do you got? You got channel checks. Go down the supermarket. I see inflation in the supermarket there running rampant. I mean, I'm in Target, Walmart. Uh, things are out of stock. It's uh, it's chaos out there, Miles. And <laughs> lo- widespread staff shortages in Outer Banks restaurants is mm-hmm. the other my other vacation yeah. report.